So I got this special wrinkle uh, reducing <laughs> cream <laughs> one year and I'm sweating like a pig because we don't have the air conditioning on because we turn off air conditioning when we, when record. we always record quietly All right. to our own detriment. <laughs> Dan isn't going to use any of this. And uh, I am suffocating now. Yeah, you want to turn the AC on? We can turn this off. Yes, you can. Please do that. Hey everyone, this is Dan Bell, and this is the second episode of Another Dirty Room, Niagara Falls. On this episode, we're checking into the Crown Inn, a small, simple one-floor motel sandwiched between a carpet outlet and a chiropractor's office. Let's have a look at some of the reviews. Over on Google, Zineb Cethalia says clean and spacious rooms with a comfortable bed. Shurga's Honeycrumb says bare bones cheap motel room, cable, TV, fridge, and microwave, clean bathroom, and the bed was not too hard and it had decent linens. Samantha Gould says they don't clean the rooms, bring new towels, or even replace the toilet paper. There is dust and crumbs everywhere. I will not be coming back. Tony Carter says I hate it. They don't keep the rooms clean and they don't change the bedding. So what's the deal with the Crown Inn? Is it a cozy little hideaway featuring those family motel basics? Or is it a downtrodden nightmare that guests wish they could crumble up, put into a barrel, and send it over the falls? Stay tuned because we're gonna go inside, rip this room apart, and find out. Where do I go here? I don't know, I think you- Oh, right there, but You entered through? Right there? Oh no, just past, past the building? I don't know. Wait, what? Where is it? Oh, it's right in there. Yeah, right in there. Oh. What? What? That, that's, that's a it? motel? Oh, wow, this looks real nice. What? It looks like a home right there. Dude, this looks red. There's like seven oh, rooms no. here. There's ten rooms. There's a total of ten rooms. Oh my right, god. Just pull it anywhere. I'm just going to pull straight in and just pull. Okay. Let's see what's going on. I booked one room, room 106, a standard smoking room with a king-size bed at a rate of $60 for the night. Oh, there you go. A little bit of upside down action. You want, you want to go in there? It has a nice odor, I can already... Uh... Oh. oh. Like cigarettes and must in here. The air is dead. Dead still. Yeah, it's stale. Dead. The doorknob just came off. Oh, it no. locked in. <laughs> Wait, can you get it out? No. Holy shit. I was just. Oh, I left the can. I was closing it, and this just like. We would have been trapped. It just slides right off. Don't. It's not shut it. <laughs> it's a de new uh, detachable It's a special feature. security measure. Usually, if you don't want people to escape, you take the doorknob off, and then you have the nice knobless uh, stub here. That Back in another bathroom. So many bathrooms. Ugh. I love the screen. Yeah, a lot of uh, homemade handiwork in this bathroom. This um, is on the outside of the building. They built the frame on the outside. It's actually done very well, but it's always in place. That's the screen here. So it's screened from outside of the window, so you can still open it to Look get the air. Screws, though. The screws are shooting out of the wooden frame. I mean, um, they used the wrong size of fasteners, I would say. 
overloading it. Like, <laughs> they were so close. Like, like they have these screws that must be like this long. They only need to use half of the screw and half still sticking. Oh in. yeah, I see what you're talking about. Yeah. yeah. Same with nails. You can see that they shot through with a compressor and they used these staples that were like this long yeah. instead of one that would have been more appropriate. <laughs> so whatever. I have a toilet that has an oblong seat that is, is oh, my, oh never mind over top of a round toilet seat uh, that's made for wait a, a minute round is seat. that yeah, that's urine and i don't know what that is but it looks like urine caramelized there you go rest of niagara falls i tell it will work it goes down and it really drops far and it goes into a pool i guess wow. they call it right thanks no, yeah. thanks. <laughs> oh, it's so funny we have new soap i see is that a new brand? But before, let me go a little deeper, I guess. Because... You're missing a tile there. Yeah. I like that, but I also see a lot are coming free. Oh yeah, these are all coming. Luke, yeah. they're all coming free. It's a Kohler toilet. Very and clean. It's very clean. Yes. And... Brushes very well. It's not bad. So, I'm straddling the toilet. But this butt is is not real exciting. Um, is it fastened? Oh look, the sink's pulling yeah, the tiles out. Yeah, I was out pointing wall. out here. Look right over by your beer, Rick. Yeah, I know. That corner one. I'd, like, I'd be careful. But see how it's all. Yeah, you. So the sink is attached fine, but it is moving, and it has broken free the top. Yes. So because it's torn. Anything in the medicine cabinet? I just noticed they have one. No. Okay, empty. Oh my god. Oh, look, look at that electrical. Wait, look at this. The electrical is so shoddy. Alright, so this. What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. I think they had the old unit fastened to the white All right, so they stand just, there. They just took wire nuts and attached for whatever this light was. Because I think this was a light and yeah. attached here. So yeah, but now they took it's the wire and they attached this. So <laughs> it's fine. Two wire connections. But it's completely but off center. It, it looks horrible. I mean, what you should have done is you should have taken and, and uh, gone into box here, chiseled out here, to run the wire in there, install it, and then come back, put some putty on there, and hide it. Right. Yeah. I mean, that would have been yeah. less cheesy than this, and the wires would have been. Because right. every connection should be within a junction box. It can't yeah. be in the open yeah. like that. Right. Right. We have a different new soap here today. Comfort Face Sandy. and Body. And it is... Tear here. I'm sweating here. Yeah, it's only 100 degrees in this room. Very... Uh, the smell's not a step up. Smell? What does it smell like? It smells like uh, just the chemicals like I just listed. Oh yeah, it just smells like cheap soap. It's bad. Ugh. Uh, it's it awful. Like a, it smells like a plastic lavender. Yeah. Like a good way to describe it. Well, and it's from China, so really what it was made of probably isn't on that label. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so this floor is already damp. This is dripping. Yeah, it hasn't stopped leaking since we got and in. It's like splattering all over the floor, so it's slippery. Yeah. Is there any way you can turn off the faucet? Like, are the faucets. Can you imagine? Oh. How much mildew? <laughs> <laughs> Almost got myself. No, it doesn't seem to matter, and either way. Go. So it's just a, it's a leak. Yeah. Leave me alone, please. Keep, <laughs> keep out I of can't. I won't this time, Rick. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah, that's that loose. Incredible oh, amount of mildew. Oh. Wait a minute, is it mildew or poop? Ew! Oh, no! Oh my god, it's that's like disgusting. sloughing off like it. Wait, hold on, don't move. Let me. Oh my god. Okay, it, is so, it looks Wait, like a booger. I think I saw part of it just move. I swear I saw some of it just move. Maybe like, oh like, like, like it's, a, it's maybe, just gunked up. Maybe, maybe it's, a, uh, it's an amoeba. 
It's just gunked up fat and... Oh my god, what is that? I'm gonna, that is true. That is disgusting. Truly, truly... It's like spongy. How does it smell? Oh! Oh, it looks like algae. Okay, I'm gonna... (laughs) It's so bad. It looks like algae, to be honest. Oh Oh my god. Isn't this lovely? Look at the yellowing on here. Hold it up and look at the bottle. Oh no! Oh! What out, Brennan? Try. Look at how fucking just. Oh my god! Oh, look at the corners too. Oh, it, that, it, that has to be feces. Oh, it's horrible. And Rick has a fucking thing in my face. <laughs> just anywhere on that wet. Yeah, I'm gonna take. I don't do the wet part. I'm taking a bit of here and a bit of the wet part. You're, no, no, you're just do. That's all you need right there. That's it. Okay. That's oh. fine. So we got a lot of transfer right. on the swab. So we're gonna put it in the. You put it back into the capsule here, and then this thing. What do you think the number is gonna be, Rick? Well, first off, you have to do what here? Yeah. You have to, you have break, to break the neck thing. of the. And then what's happening next? And now you're. The you're, reagent you're, goes down yeah, the sides. You're dropping the reagent through the dropper here. And shake it to get some mixture. So we want anywhere between zero and twenty would be respectable, clean. Yeah, zero. Anything over thirty is dirty. Yeah. Like Anything over got, thirty is unacceptable. This thing is... And I'm guessing... This is probably close to a thousand, at least. I yeah, think Rick's belly I, button was one thousand. I think it's going to be much higher, higher. than that. I think it's going to be two... Th- if your belly button's a thousand, it's going to be two thousand. I think it's going to be much higher than a thousand. It's brown. It's probably fecal right, matter. Here we go. We're going to get the results here, and... Oh uh, my god! Oh, oh, oh. Seventy-one ninety-nine. Yeah, so that's imagine... That's right. Rick, I knew it was a thousand or more. So basically, if you're taking a shower in here on the floor, you're getting a reading of 7,200 bacteria. Which is um, terrible. Which is, you're not going to be able to clean that off your feet. Yeah, Um, keep in mind anything over 30 is unacceptable. I mean, this is like uh, a summer camp for kids. And they never clean the shower or something like right. that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. All right, Rick. Uh, thanks for the bathroom check. It was great. We'll see you in a while. We're gonna go. For <laughs> Are a we beer. gonna do a drain? Yeah. Oh, oh no. the shit! Get that thing away from me. Seriously, I don't want 7,200 bacteria. Oh my god. <laughs> the first reading, the 19, is particulate matter with a particle size larger than 2.5 microns. So that's that's relatively a large particle. Uh, yeah, we got. It's, it's not 20, the biggest size, and you got twenty-one. It's twenty-two. A, so there's been some kind of an uptick in that. But more interesting, the second one, which is HCHO, that's formaldehyde. And somehow stirring up, doing things in the room, we have um, jumped it up to a dangerous level. Yeah, red. When the numbers turn red like that, you can see the. Well, it's it's moderate. But then the last number, 9.99, mm-hmm. is an error code. There's been some kind of an error. What caused it? It could have been a peak. That's or organic for, material. Like yeah, organic compounds. If you had like taken and rubbed your hands with sanitizer and did it too closely to this, that might have caused an, a reaction in either one of those two. But we were near it, though. That's the thing. It just started going off. And we were on the other side of the room. But the thing is, this reads the air quality, and it's when those things are red, it, it reads if like you can have like cancer-causing agents or yeah. something in well, the air that you like shouldn't saying, be breathing in. I'm saying the first one, the formaldehyde's kicked up. The second one, it's either off the scale or some other kind of error. That's yeah. not a direct indicator. The instructions. Let's I turn it off. Here. Let's boot it back up again. All right. Just to see where it starts out at. Oh, it's red again. Hey, it's maxed out again. Huh. That's not good. So what is going on though? So after after resetting it, the readings have maxed out again. So. There's obviously some sort of organic compound as well as uh, formaldehyde in the moderate to dangerous zone. Yeah, something is uh, amiss in here. So, the, I mean, the air quality is not the greatest, no, it's, to be it's honest. It's horrible in here. It smells musty. And there's a nice 
shit smear or something <laughs> oh, on the wall. down on the wall that I'll I just noticed. Six and a half feet. You know, when you come in here and you, <laughs> before you light it up, it's like, oh, it's not that bad. And as soon as you get bright lights on, you're like, holy shit. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I can understand. I can sympathize with the person. Sometimes before I go to bed, I like to stick my ass up on the wall. Yeah, just take your hand that's covered with shit and just... Uh, I that, that's not that's as a, a, that was. I think, I know, I think that's what just it was. Yeah. I think it was just a... No, you just, yeah. just jump up. Jump up and get down. Get <laughs> around. Soft. And... Why are you putting that to your face? My face is so, so sweaty. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, I feel so good. They oh. knew you were coming. So Wait, unfold it. This is like celebrity treatment. Thank you so much. Look how brown it is. I know, look at it. <laughs> you just rubbed your look, face Look where it that. is now. <laughs> oh my god. That's what the hell I've been putting up with. Okay, open it up all the way. Let's see. Yeah, it's got some yellowing in the corner right here. Here, what you have? I want it to be like a, a poo stain just because you rubbed your face on it. Look what a miserable towel. But my face has definitely made an influence, you can yeah. see right there. Oh my god. It's got some filth on it. Here, let me, let me see if I can... Uh... What? You're just showing the audience how dirty you are. Oh my god. Another angel. Why Another you dirt angel. Why on the you have brown stuff on your face? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Rick's getting into scat, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I must have been rolling around and so dropping. It's that stuff I sprayed in your hair. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. <laughs> it's been leaking onto his forehead. Oh. <laughs> A little bit of yellow stain here. I'm tucked in. You are? On my side's not. So, oh, yeah. since I, we went by the Tucket oh. Motel, I thought this might be it, but it's not. Not too terrible, to be honest. Where's the burn marks all over Yeah, the this is like the least burn marks per God. Time. It's pretty amazing. We have ever wow. seen. Wow. That might be a fresh one. My jaws are agape. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> the mattress feels deformed, though. Like, see right here where it's like lifts up? I think some of the springs have busted I through. That, I think there's like a... Yeah. <laughs> here, like that. A little love bump. All right, wait a minute. Do we have a... Hold it up a little bit, no? I thought it was really yellow right here. Oh. Uh, it was just the lighting. No, I mean the sheets doesn't look too bad. On the back she side? She looks clean. On the back side? There's, there's a little bit of uh, oh, stain, stainage here. What's Some this? These are, tracks. these are probably semen. Here's her right too. Yeah, we got one, two, the three musketeers right there. Now, you there. say it's pecker tracks. I, I think it is. Can you prove it? I mean, there is a with there's a will, there's a way. All right, we'll do a semen test. You want to do a semen test? It's like that Price is Right loser horn every time. <laughs> ba -ba 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 -ba. Rick, we have bigger issues right now. Yeah. What's going on here? We were gonna go get so, distilled water. There was a lady knocking on doors earlier that was just like running around, and we did this wasn't here when we got in. This is fresh. No, this so this we, so <laughs> there's a nice present from a human being. Right. No. Oh, the a woman. Crowd. <laughs> to just what the hell? To scale it, here's my hand. Uh, a woman job. came here and took a dump in front of our door. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, why you step Rick, on why it? Why are you putting your foot on it? Oh I my it. god! They real. Oh, that is so wrong. What oh, the? Somebody. The shit outside our door was bent down <laughs> and squatted right squatted there. in front of our door and took a dump that might that might just be some uh, newcomer initiation for the motel okay. I've, I've seen it I think she was marking <laughs> her territory can, can we please get back inside I've got to grab stuff in the car yeah Rick said you didn't need to sell water yeah. well he needs his pack he went, but Dan you want to you pick that up for us let's run a swab on it <laughs> Maybe the the crackhead because she was coming around knocking on doors. Maybe she was looking, she was, yeah. yeah, she was asking people to use the bathroom. Use their bathroom. And when she got to our door, she couldn't hold it anymore, so oh. she just let it loose in the oh sidewalk. Oh my god! This place is rancid. All right, Rick. I was honored that she shat outside of us. Oh my! At our place. Outside of us. Outside. Can of we us. please just? I mean. Okay. Explain. Explain. 
You are too... Uh, We're testing for semen right now. Test for some semen by first... You, here, so they say cut out the material and soak it. Okay. Or wet the material. Yeah, we don't want to cut their sheets. They're nice sheets for them. Oh, the thing's going off again. Yeah. The, the air thing. Here, I'll that try worked and, out good. I'll try and rub it in. And soak it on this. But you can look, you can really see the spot now that you're soaking yeah. the all right. So you got a little bit of transfer there with the wet surface. Right, then we now, go. we're going to see if this is, if it turns How violet. About here, here too? Yeah, a little yeah. one there. And our, our air filter keeps beeping, telling us that it's right, unsafe. The air monitor is saying, get out of the room. All right, so then this is supposed to turn purple. Violet, yes. Or it gets lighter. Looks like a little bit of purple, maybe. I would say... I'd say it's a positive. I'd say it's a positive and... Uh, I'd say it's a positive. A little bit of yellowing in the center. That's pretty standard for these Or is that, what's that, is that the corner? No. coming through from the inside? It's oh yeah, through the weak. Strong light, nice light. Yeah. Okay, we'll see. Might be a good one. Ugh. Oh my, there's like a, there's it's, sweat it's, stains here. Wait, Rick. It's the There's skin. another pillowcase. Oh, wait, hold on, there's another one. Oh, wait, wait, look at, look at your side there. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, it's fucking horrible. Does it smell good? Just sweaty. Body odor. Pee pee. <laughs> it looks like it, but it just is body odor smell. I never understood if you have pillow, like, why don't you well, I put a wash, one. wash you the pillow? Hold it back, Rick, while you peel away. <clears throat> so yeah. What the? How? Why is that cleaner than both the pillows? So cases? just throw that in the wash. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Like that's not that bad. Like the pillow is cleaner than both pillowcases combined. I mean, you don't need the double here. The dirty double. Well, they should just what? Guess what? The odor is that. Yeah, yeah, this has no odor. Right. Well, because this probably has odor band. But it's like basically the sweat that went through the outside pillowcase uh -huh. caught got caught in the second one. Yeah. I'm going to grab the pillow. And Hello, here it looks like. There's a similar. Yeah, thing. a lot of yellowing as well. There's a, th a little bit of here. Oh Some my. kind of a. The bed is. It's like all wet, right? <laughs> right when I just push down on yeah. it like this. But I'm, like, I'm thinking you got a little bit of uh, dark drippage of stain right here. On yeah. There. You think that's blood? Uh, I'm just Could throwing be it out there. Bugs. The pillow's wet too. <clears throat> you feel that? Feel right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got the pillow's like. Yeah, it's got really, a decent. Really. It's like oh damp. wait, it, no, there's a zipper. That's a pillow cover. Yeah, but it's, the pillow inside's got a little bit of dampness. Straight flip. Oh my, Rick. Oh, look flip. at the other side. Oh. There you go. Oh. Let me grab that for your partner. Now it's just gonna be another clean pillow. Yeah. Oh. No, oh my no, god. No. Oh <laughs> yeah. my god. Oh yeah, baby. That might be that urine. is like. Yeah. Look at that. That's urine on that pillow. Oh my god. Oh my, oh my god. That's horrible. Yeah. Show it's, the other side. Oh, and there's a pube. Look, there's a pube <laughs> oh right here. Oh my god. Wait, let's flip it over. Oh my Oh, oh. no. That's oh, terrible. That's horrible. It's pretty evident. Okay. <laughs> Rick's really proud of that one. Put the pillow down. There you go, Dan. <clears throat> oh. Oh my god. What's this no called? wonder it was wet. It's just like it felt like it felt like cold. And yeah. It's like very while, nice. while um that's that, fresh. That other thing that was happening we thought. Yeah. Um she peed. <laughs> At some point. That's fresh urine. Oh god. Just, that's like somebody rested their head there and they we, got a golden please shower please on the face. Get this out of my face. Okay. I'm gonna, oh, <laughs> you, oh, <laughs> oh no. Oh, oh there it yeah. happened. <laughs> Oh. That's where the golden shower occurred. Oh. Jesus Christ, what in the fuck is, what is going wrong on with people? in this place? And look at look at how torn this cover is, Dan. 
Yeah, it's useless. Like this is so frayed. It doesn't yeah. add any padding or anything. It's just. I filthy. see a lot of dark spots in the bedding. In the creases of the bedding. It's a king. Oh, so look it's a little bigger. Oh, look at somebody's soot, sooty fingerprints on the box spring there. And this oh, was nice. tucked in. Try to pull that corner out a little bit, Brent. Okay, here we are. Well, oh, that's like part of the uh, spring there poking through. There you go, that's all. Yeah, so that's a, this is like a handprint right here. And then there's not too much else other than that. No, no, no leakage. Usually you see some stains on the right. fabric here. If it's soaked through. It's a decent foundation. No cuts in the mattress? Nope. Oh. God, oh, look man. how dirty it is underneath. Definitely, yeah. Definitely did not clean. Oh, my man. There's somebody's, uh, somebody's earring was <laughs> underneath the bed. I'm not touching that. Here, you want it, Rick? Nice earring piece for you. Thank you, I got it. <laughs> There's little bits of garbage, nothing too alarming other than Yeah, the it just needs to be vacuumed, but it's so dirty. Oh, there's mold. There's black mold in behind the, the headboard here, or in behind the head of the bed. There. Just because really? it's black, you moron, it's not black mold. I'm saying that collectively, that a whole group of people who automatically go, oh, it's black mold. Okay, well, I apologize, Rick. It but, is mold uh, that is black. There, I'm sorry. Sorry if I offended any of you mold enthusiasts. But look at all this. There's a lot of spores under yeah, here. Yeah, these are all spores. I'm, just, I'm not saying it's not mold. But here we get a shot under here, Dan. <clears throat> see all that? Oh, yeah. All along there. Yeah, that's spores. It's not good. That's good disgusting. So there's, a, there's a few spots here. But that's some loogie or semen. I don't know. It's going downhill. Oh, Dan. Oh, <laughs> Dan. look at that. Do you think that's vomit? Oh, oh yeah, on the it, oh, yeah it is. It is puke. But it's oh, also, look my. at the bottom of the doorway. Yeah. Oh, oh it's all. Yes. That's disgusting. It yes. like seeped into the there. It's all door. caked into the. Oh, my gosh. Who throws great. up on the door? Maybe they yeah. didn't. They didn't make it outside in time. They were trying to get out, the, and they couldn't. Yeah. Yeah, Probably they, because this came off. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> They couldn't get outside in time. <laughs> That's exactly what I was doing. Oh, oh my god. Go. We got Wait, some. Jackpot. Oh, there's, uh, there's mold all along the bottom here. And I don't like what this looks like either. There's this. this oh, is, that looks like vomit. That looks like vomit, like fruiting. What the hell is that? Oh, that's so, that's covered in mold. Wait, bring it up. What is that? I don't know what it is. Oh, it looks like a gourd to like a, or like a stem to like a gourd or something. Oh, okay. Oh, but look at the mold coming out of there. That's uh, incredible. Oh, that's that's so dirty. Oh back my there. God. I mean, God. this is so crazy. Oh, they, wait a minute. The the owners put a new floor here. I know. That is easily <laughs> cleanable. <laughs> There's uh, a razor, used razor blade. And there's a bunch stuck of stuff back there. Yeah. They could have this room spick and span in an hour. I mean, but you don't need to, I mean, you could use, just you know, this kind of cleaning can be done like every week or two. Your laziness. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Oh, it's. Oh, there's food on the plate. And it's awful. Oh, Dan, look at the roof of the microwave. <laughs> It looks like something, somebody put something in like a soup bowl or something and it just set it for too long and it exploded and just stuck to the top of the microwave. And that's where you're putting your food and those, I guarantee you those particles are falling into your meal every time you turn this thing on. And I will just come across the whole thing and then I will also go across that but I'm not going to go across it multiple times. I don't want to just, it's dried on there anyway. Whatever it was, it's just dried on. Probably nothing. All right, here we go. Let's see what the score will be this time. Okay. I'm going to say 300. I'm going to say 100. I'm going to say very close to the first sample number. Which was what? 34. Oh, really? 37. Look at that, Rick. 
Not terrible. Oh, I would go the other way, actually, where the yeah, that area there is where it's gonna be dirty. You wanna get everywhere. If they haven't cleaned it. Right there where the back of you know what sits. Yeah. So now with the bathtub the being seventy two hundred or the bat the shower. Yeah. Thing, I, I don't have high hopes for this no. test. I think it is... looks clean to the untrained eye, but the machine will tell. Yes. Will this come up right. so clean you could lick it or so terrible you want to run away? The machine reveals all. Here you go. Yeah, you're helping with the, all that stuff. Right, let's see what happens. What are you thinking? I'm thinking 300. Guess, Rick. We got six seconds. 200. I'm going to say 150. Oh. oh my god! Now that is what is a, it? What is it? It's twelve hundred. Holy shit! That's a dirty fucking toilet. Seat. Oh, that's terrible. Oh my god! How long do you think it could be for a person to change over this room between users? And you know what? Honestly, it's once every twenty-four hours. Probably thirty minutes to an hour. Like not. Very I would long. say yeah, thirty room. forty-five minutes. Get under the bed. Yeah, it, you just bring it, a little vacuum, okay, you so, bring in some Lysol wipes, some bleach spray. Yeah. And you want that? You have to pay a higher price. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's, 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 what's the overhead on that? It's it's literally, it's if they do the labor thing. themselves, it's it doesn't like $20. Matter. To, They'd be filled, to the, to they, the proprietor, it's uh, such an exponential. Effect. I think they would be filled every night if they had clean rooms. Just like the other yeah, Mattels. The reviews would go up. The other Mattels along the boulevard here. Hey. They, no Clean. vacancy in some places. Some places are packed, and it's right. because they they keep a nice motel. Yeah. And then places like this, there's nobody here because it's a. I mean, we're in a tourist destination. Yeah. One of the biggest in, in the this world. Area about this yeah, one of the wonderful world. world. Hey, people come from all over here. Yeah. So there's no reason you should have vacancies, especially in the summer when it's peak season. Right. Okay. You don't want to get the um, the plastic stick. Oh, that it. thing looks horrible. Ooh. <laughs> See, oh my. See this part? You don't want to touch any certain thing with that. Yeah. That's what it wanted to swap to. Right. So that's where the thing, the reagent goes through. It yeah. passes through the, the swab too. So you don't want yeah. to uh, contaminate it. Well, we'll see how clean this fridge is that you store your food in. Okay. Well, the science will show. This is a hard one. What do you think? I'm going to say. I'm going to say. Are those spores alive? I'm, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say 75. I could see that. Um, I'll say 80. 80. Okay. Two, one. Wow. 162. Yeah. 162. So the inside of the, the fridge is, is dirty. It's not, yeah, it's not very clean. It even, needs to be cleaned. Even though it's at a cold temperature, there still is some sort of bacteria well, the, that can survive. Yeah, right. Uh, actually, is. Is it fastened? Oh, it's, oh, it's just stuck. Oh, it has never moved. It's stuck to the nightstand. It's oh, actually no. got a crud layer. Oh, look at that. Oh my, oh, they oh never. Oh my God. They never cleaned behind that. Look at that. They've never cleaned it. Oh, oh and look. look, it's sticky here. There's like No, a, no, 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 no. I no, want to look. show you something. Look at this. This is not too bad compared to the, the reverse. Oh my god. Oh. Holy crap. The whole back is never been cleaned. Look at this. One finger swoop. They clean only <laughs> the front of it and never move it and never clean it. Well, they it probably behind. they probably do this. Here, wait. They probably literally just take a little rag and go. Right, I'm going to try to move this. Wait. This, right. There's a big stain right here, too. All right, well, we'll get to it. <laughs> We'll get to it. Is there anything in the drawer? I'm behind it. Oh, oh. my god. Oh, what really? the hell? What is that? More, I don't know that it's tar, but is it more like oh. this to ash? That's vomit. No! no. That's, that's vomit. Oh! That's vomit. Oh my god. That's what it is. It's puke. Oh. Right, and that's what it was. That, see, it was leaking oh, out. That's oh, what that's oh no! Oh, God, it, oh, there and there. Oh, Look, you can yeah. see that they, they threw up like this. Yeah, and it they spewed threw on here. Oh, God. oh, I can still you smell, can smell it. You smell it. It's awful. It's stuck in... Why did I put my nose in
everyone, we have reached the end of our investigation here at the Crown Inn in Niagara. Rick, what would be your rating for this lovely abode? A one. Are you going to show your clipboard? or? I will, yes. <laughs> okay. You start with a five, potentially. Yes. You then take away for mold and sperm and vomit yes. and a bath and shower that are gooey with bacteria. Yes. There's no AC, it's hot. Yes. It's 89 degrees. But we were discounted for the AC. I don't give a shit, it's still 89 degrees. <laughs> Uh, there's no evidence of cleaning at all. Right. The room reeks. Yes, it does. So I gave it a very soft one, like the pile a nice lady left at our door. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. That would be a number two. Yeah. That was a number two, but it, I brought it back to a one. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so... For my rating, I took into account the uh, the state of the shower curtain, which was absolutely horrible. The air, which was unsafe to breathe in. And many, many times the alarm was going off. Yeah. Our the water sports monitor. that yes. took place. The, you can't forget about the water sports uh, on the pillow. Someone put their head down and just yeah. let it rain. Yes. <laughs> and uh, the vomit in the drawer. And just like the lady. Oh, that smells so bad. Just like the crackhead outside, I give it a crown. Two crown dumps out of five. A hard two. <laughs> hard two. Why do you say a hard two? Isn't a hard mean better? No, hard means like hard two borderline one. Oh, I don't. That would be a soft two. Uh, that's exactly what I thought. Soft two is like they when I when I do soft two. Telling us to get the hell out of here. It's still beeping. Yeah. Uh, uh, I am going to go with Rick tonight, and yes, give it a one. This room is. Repulsive. My score would have been a negative two, by the way. But you, yeah, you gotta do the one. Yes. Yeah. Uh, the room is horrible, it's dirty, it's unsafe. It's just bad. Yeah, um, it's not very good. The crown yeah. is the crown dump motel. Right. Yes. <laughs> and there's no way in hell I would want to sleep here. No, I no. would not sleep here at all. All right, so the air monitor is telling us to leave. We're going to listen to We're it. We're taking yeah. advantage of the alert before we die. Yeah. <laughs> Formaldehyde takes over. We get. All right, all right. Thank well, you guys for watching. Uh, thanks you all very much Bye. for watching. We'll be back again soon. This is the uh, first time I've ever smoked marijuana. I hope I'm doing it right. <laughs> wow, what's so good about that? What the fuck's going on, Dad? I, this is what it does? Can we please get back oh to work? Oh my God. What have I been denying myself all this time? <laughs>